Now, after getting hit with the RF pulse, the proton will be oriented in this direction and process in this direction. At this point, it has a transverse magnetization now. Now, what the proton would do is try to go back to its longitudinal magnetization. It will try to go back to its original direction by losing the energy to its environment. This is what we call spin lattice relaxation. It's spinning and it will try to go back to its longitudinal magnetization. Again, let's look at it another way. This is the fat proton. It faces in the same direction as the net magnetic field on the z-axis. In this position, we say that the proton has a longitudinal magnetization. Now it gets hit by an RF pulse. What happens is that it absorbs some of the energy and gains transverse magnetization. The proton then would want to regain its longitudinal magnetization this way. It will regain its longitudinal magnetization. And it does so by releasing some of the energy to its environment or the lattice. This is why uh, T1 relaxation is called the spin lattice relaxation. In this example, we saw that a fat proton is quick to regain its longitudinal magnetization. Hence, we say that fat has a short T1 property. Substances with short T1 property or quick to regain its longitudinal magnetization will be white or hyperintense in the T1 weighted study. This is the T1 relaxation time. Again, it's quick for fat protons. Now, what about T2 relaxation time? Going back to our uh, proton, it spins this way in the same direction as the net magnet magnetization. It then gets hit with a 90 degree R of pulse, absorbs some of the energy, This way, gets hit with an RF pulse, gains transverse magnetization, spins this way. And what would happen is that it will transfer some of its energy towards a nearby, to a nearby proton. So this is what we call the spin-spin relaxation. Let us look at this another way. So this is a water proton spinning in the same direction as the net magnetization uh, produced by the magnet. It gets hit with an RF pulse, gains transverse magnetization, absorb some energy and what happens is that it will transfer some of its energy to the nearby protons. Because of the transfer of this energy from one spinning proton to another, we call T2 relaxation as spin-spin relaxation. Since this is a, a water proton, uh, and proton is characteristically slow to release its energy, we say that uh, water has a long T2 property. Substances with a long T2 property 
are slow to release its energy to its fellow proton. In substances with the long T2 property would appear white or hyperintense in T2 weakened studies. Each proton has its own personal T1 and T2 relaxation time. This graph on the left shows time versus magnetization in the z-axis. Again, recall that this is the z-axis, as we have seen previously. This is the direction of the proton, which has a longitudinal magnetization. This is the direction of the proton after it is hit with a 90 degree pulse. In other words, it gains transverse magnetization. And recall again that fat is quick to regain its longitudinal magnetization. It's quick to regain its longitudinal mag magnetization like this after the arc pulse. Now look, as, look at this graph. Uh, this shows that the fat has a short T1 property because here we have a sharp upslope of the fat. It means it's quick to regain its longitudinal magnetization. How about this graph on the right? How fast is fat to lose its transverse magnetization? compared to water, it's faster or quicker to lose the transverse magnetization compared to water. We know that this is talking about uh, transverse magnetization because here, here we see here magnetization in the xy plane or the transverse plane. Therefore, in this graph we see that fat has a short T1 property and a short T2 property. Now what about water? We see here that water takes a longer time to regain its longitudinal magnetization compared to fat. And it also takes a longer time for water to lose its transverse magnetization. Therefore, water has a long T1 and a long T2 property. Water is then dark on T1 compared to fat. And water will appear white or bright on T2 sequences compared to fat. 